attendant care or self-directed care. KC, all we want to know is what's the best and which one is for me. How y'all doing today? My name is Kion Church. I'm your in-home healthcare guy. I'm really the boss of this in-home healthcare stuff. Like I know everything front to back. A lot of people come to me every day. They say, KC, help me out. I need a paid caregiver. I need some stability in my life. You know, what can you do for me? What I tell them is, listen, hold on. It's going to be a ride, but I'm going to get you connected. If you're not connected with the right people, I'm going to make sure you get into the right places. All right. Once again, my name is Kion Church. I'm your in-home healthcare boss. What do I actually do? What I do is I help financially challenge family members to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid long-term health care program, or what's more commonly known as LTSS. And why we even spend time doing that every day is because I don't think that any family member should have to suffer for taking care of somebody else. You know what I mean? You're already doing the best things that you can do, you know? Who wants to uh, suffer financially to try to help somebody else? That's crazy, you know? But... Either way, we're here now, you know what I mean? If you're here with me in the live broadcast, hashtag live, L-I-V-E. If you're here with me in the rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. You know, if you're not in Delaware, Newcastle, Kent, Sussex County, hashtag your city, hashtag your state. You know, let everybody know where you at, you know what I mean? Where are you getting this uh good message from, you know? Where are you getting it at? Where are you receiving it at, you know? Um, a lot of people got a good question. And they say, uh, you know, they're in the Medicaid, you know, they're into the long-term health care program or, or they have just been accepted into the program. And they asking questions like, hey, KC, uh, my case manager told me about this thing called self-directed care. Should I do it? So I said, well, hey, what's your options? They said, well, self-directed care or attendant care. But I don't know what either one of them means. Oh, OK, well, now here we go. We're in a good, we're in a good spot now. Miss Murray, how you doing? Hashtag live if you're here with me in the live. Hashtag rebroadcast if you're here with me in the rebroadcast. You got any questions? Hit me while we on the line. 302-689-3240. You know, I answer all your questions while we on the air. So, they said, what is self-directed care? Well, I'm going to tell you like this. If you got somebody helping you out and they're helping you out with your activities of daily living, which is what we do, um... You know, they come around, that's all non-skilled medical, in-home medical care. You know what I mean? That's the, that's the kind of stuff that you, you need every day. You know, I just helped my, my dad uh, get his teeth brushed, uh, uh, get his get his washcloth out for his face, you know. Uh, meal prepped his breakfast, got him ready, got him all set and together to eat. You know, that's what activities of daily living are. Now, self-directed care versus attendant care, what this really is, I'm going to break it down for you. Self-directed care means you as the member, yourself, will direct the care. Now, break it down, KC. That means they're going to make you into the boss. You know? Now, we all love to be the boss. We all love to get our, get our, uh, our, 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 uh, our, our needs taken care of expressively, explicitly, directly out the words of my mouth. You understand what I'm saying? But check this out. You as the member, you may not have enough time in your life during your day to be uh, managing a caregiver. You understand what I'm saying? All right. You got self-directed care. You got attendant care. I'm going to just tell you what attendant care is, and then you'll know what self-directed care is not. We at Reliable Aid, we do what's called attendant care. That means uh, we make sure all the uh, caregivers have been two-part TB shot. You know what I mean? They got to get the one part, and then they come back another week, they get the second part. That's to make sure no tuberculosis is, is coming into your house. You know? Everybody has to have a physical. If you're a caregiver and you work for uh, uh, reliably, you have to have a physical. The doctor has to be able to prove you to be able to do certain kind of things because, you know, the people going to be, you know, giving their help. And we can't have nobody falling out or, or getting hurt trying to help nobody. That, that's, that's, that's not going to work. All right. What we do here with our attendant care, we drug screen everybody. This is a state job, you know, a state is state regulated and uh, the state want drug tests. So, you know, we drug test everybody for you, you know. Uh, state also wants what's called SBI background check. Now, that's State Bureau of Investigation, a background check. Now, during this background check, they check for things like uh, adult and child abuse registries. Now, if you don't know what that is, an, an adult abuse registry, that's where anybody like a senior, if they have been abused by somebody, they put them into a registry. Uh, and the person who has done all the abuse and all the crazy stuff, you know, they put them on a list somewhere, you know what I mean? Same thing with child abuse registry. You know how it goes. Child get abused. The person who does the abuse, they put them on a registry list. 
So as Reliable Aid does uh, attending care, what we do is we background check, we physical everybody, we, we, we drug test everybody, we do everything. So when the person comes to your house, all they got to do is follow the care plan. You know, now it's a sticky, tricky situation because some people, you know, in their mind, they, they, they've gotten talked into uh, into being self-directed care through through other companies. Now, I don't know about you, but my pop, he got a lot going on. He ain't got no time to be uh, uh, managing a caregiver. You know what I'm saying? You know, he barely got enough time to get his own life together. You know, that's because he needs help. Now, if you're the kind of person who needs help, I would tell you to find a company like Reliable Aid that can do all the work for you. You want somebody that's going to be able to do the heavy lifting. You know, why would you want to have to uh, fill out an application with a person to be a caregiver? Have to make them go get a drug test. Have to make them go get a TB shot. Have to make them go get a fist. I mean, that's a lot of work right there. I mean, you already, you know, you want your breakfast cooked. You know what I mean? You, you might want your lunch cooked, your dinner cooked. You got a lot of things you got to do. You ain't got time for all that other stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's the difference. A lot of choices that you got to make in your life. You know, if you want a good company to help you out, rely on is it. You know what I mean? We, we, we're not going to make you do all the heavy lifting. That's crazy. Still trying to get this camera focused. But, uh, you know, if you're here with me now, hashtag live. If you're here with me in the rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. All right? So, look, just another word before I go. We trying to help a lot of caregivers. Like, like I don't know if y'all know my whole story, but this program didn't work for me. You know what I mean? But I still needed something else because I needed to be able to supplement the income because uh, I was unable to go out into the world and, and get a job. Both my parents came home from the hospital on the same day, and I had to take care of three people, <laughs> them two people and myself. Now, that's a job, a real job. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, how you going to do it, KC? How you going to earn extra money when there is no extra money? Mm, Got to come up with something else. Now, I'm helping a lot of caregivers right now earn extra money. What we do is we, we, we earn money on a residual system. So, what we do is we put the work in and keep getting paid for our efforts over and over and over. That allows me to help my parents, you know, do what they got to do. And I can't be outside in the real work field. If something like that is interesting to you, you know, drop me a comment, hit me in the DM, you know, do what you got to do. Reach out to me. 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. Uh, look, I love you. You're the kind of person that I want to be around, you know. If, if you think that... Uh, Doing big things for other people is great. Holler at me. Let me know. All right. Other than that, I got to go. Don't forget, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you know, give me a shout out. Let me know where you're watching it from. You know, get your check-ins going on. Make sure you like and you share this video and let everybody know, you know, if y'all need some help with that in-home health care, come talk to the boss. In-home health care boss, Mr. KC. Talk to you soon. Peace.